We're back. We're hungry. And the streets of Mumbai have drawn us back with the promise of more street food. And that's where we are today at the mighty Sardar Pav Bhaji in Tardeo. We have a long list of fans. All of you that wrote to us and said, come back because there's a lot of places you missed. We'll come back to the list of fans. Thankfully, I have the list in my back pocket. And the names of the fans are Kate Kiyashar, Vanni Gawal, Dr. Manish Dawes. Swabnali Palande, Shahrukh Khan, Salman Khan, Priyanka Chopra, Lara Dutta. <laughs> lots and lots of fans in Mumbai. The only thing that has more fans here in Mumbai is the Pau Bhaji. Let's go try some. If you're a cardiac surgeon, you would love the Pau Bhaji we get here. Look at the amount of butter on this. Immediate business. Essentially, what the Pau Bhaji? For those of you who may not know, there might be people like that out there. Is potatoes, tomatoes, a whole bunch of vegetables, coriander, spices cooked together with this. I don't know what it's called. You know what it's called? No. If you know what it's called, write it to us at yummy at nadvgoodtimes.com and tell us what this is. The best I can tell you is a shower head, and it's used to squash this. Oh my God! The butter is falling down. <laughs> Catastrophe of national proportions. This is the bhaji. That is the pav. There's a little bit of butter in it. In the olden days, the mill workers in Mumbai would want to come out and have a very quick meal because they could go back to work. This pav bhaji came along when some innovative man said, "Let me throw together every vegetable, every lentil, everything I can find, and make this sort of stew that people can come and just eat quickly and get back to work." And I suspect the butter is there to give you lots of energy. This place was started in 1966 by Sadar Ahmed, who came and set up a little shop here. And now it's prospered into this whole stretch where they even sell juices. But I don't think he's made this money because of all the success of the pav bhaji. No, I think he just sells butter wholesale. Don't take too many bites of this though because I've got a special surprise for you. What's that? Food to die for. Really? Where are we going? Are uh, we going to a place in in Gilgom near the Babulnar Temple? But well, meanwhile, I'm a little short on butter. Bhai sir, thoda makkhan milega. Now that Rocky's buried his appetite, we've come somewhere, Som, where Mehul Patel and Shilpa Chawla are ardent fans of Sentas, and you're really going to love this. You know why? It's super special food. What's up? They've got like five different types of khichdi. They they have like green stuff and brown stuff and Thank you. yellow stuff. Thank you. The emperors of yore used to have peacock tongue. In France, they have foie gras served by the gram, and over here, we've come to have the delicacy of khichdi. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Please tell me they have chawan prash and raw amlas that I can dig my teeth into. And a blunt fork that I can take my eye out with. I've always wanted to eat kichri. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm delirious. Despite his great acting, something tells me he doesn't really like the idea of eating at home. Come along. Sarcasm is wasted on some people. This is going to be war. You know why? Because it's Monday today. Home war. He's a bit of an idiot. Thursday is called Budhwar. Eating khichdi sucks, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you have a chuski at the beginning of your meal, and this one is a kokum. It's sweet, it's tart, it's tangy, it's spicy at the same time, and I love it. We used to call them golas in Delhi. This brings back really good memories. The new revolution that's taking place all over this country is that Indian food is becoming a little more friendly to serve and put out on a table. Take a look at just the drinks that we've got over here. It's a lemon. Basil sherbet, lots of lime, lots of basil leaves crushed in to make this magnificent cooling drink, and that is a good idea. This is millet flour. It's fried spinach, and it's got sesame seeds on top. The spinach and the sesame go together really well to give you this sort of wholesome, crunchy flavor, which is incredible. This is the handvo and chutney. This is baked rice, lentils. And do the or pumpkin, and they made this wonderful little tikki with it. Mm. Oh, magnificent flavor in every bite. I'm not missing non-vegetarian food. It almost got a little sweetish texture. I don't know where that's coming from. Because rice and lentil by themselves are not very sweet, and it's really nicely offset by the spicy green coriander chutney. Gujarat has three dominant cuisines: the kathiawadi, which is a spicy pungent cuisine; the kachhi, which is from the region of Kutch. 
khichdis, and of course this, known as the Gujarati. A touch of something sweet in almost every dish. This one is the ever popular, one of the most popular items in Som is the Gatte Ki Sabzi. This is a Satpadi roti, now it's called that because it has seven layers. They fold it over seven times and they put spice and red chilli between each layer. So you get this really nice flaky little roti. What a wealth of cuisine in this country. Start looking inwards for your food solutions, friends. This kind of food is not available anywhere in the world, you can take my word for it. I'm so happy when the khichdis are here. <laughs> Yay! When we were growing up, khichdi was something you only agreed to eat when you were really sick and you were not allowed to eat anything else. And that didn't help you get better because you sat there and everybody else was eating really good food at the table and you had to eat khichdi. But we will give this a fair try. This khichdi involves a lot of work. This one has a distinct flavour of garlic, spinach that's beaten into it and cracked wheat of hara, which is broken wheat pieces. Mm. Giving a really nice bold texture to this gentle khichdi. Oh man, this is so good. Mm. If this kind of khichdi had been around when I was a kid, I would have been a Sikh a lot longer. This super squishy thing is the masala fada khichdi. It's got moong dal, it's got cracked wheat, it's got lots of ghee in it and spices, and it's served with this. And while we're talking about dishes that are difficult to pronounce, here is the kanna patata sambaria with biscuit bhakri. And what that is, is a deliciously rich, oily, gooey, and really well-made, highly spiced mix of onions and potatoes served with this wonderful biscuit bhakri. And to accompany it all is this, the beautiful green chili that you'll get everywhere when you go to have Gujarati food. A chutney made with tamarind and jaggery. And of course, the mint coriander chutney, which is ever popular. That looks delicious. It's even got cashew in it. Time for Rocky and Mayur's report card. Mayur, taste. Eight. Eight. Ambience? Eight. Eight is good. What about the service? Nine. Eight. And value for money? Eight. Agree. This is a very good meal. Highly recommended. So I'm just gonna dig into this thandai, which could do with a little bit of bang, and it's making me all cool. Are you ready to eat some meat now, baby? <clears throat> no. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.